Hi family, today I want to encourage us with a word about going where Jesus goes. Um, John chapter 12 verse 26 says, Whoever serves me uh, must follow me, and where I am, my servant will be also. Um, Jesus sends us to where he wants us to go. And you know, knowing that we have the Holy Spirit with us, we ought to be where Jesus wants us to be. We know the Holy Spirit is always present, but I think we need to get to a place where we nurture the awareness of the Holy Spirit's presence. Why? Because of what Ephesians 2 verse 10 says. It says we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for works that God prepared in advance for us to do. Now how will we do the work unless we hear, you know, the, unless we listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and, you know, follow the direction in which He sends us because Jesus is already there. And we know that the Holy Spirit will not guide us to places where Jesus is not because it's all about glorifying. God the Father. And um, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 15 verse 58 tells us to give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord because the labor that we basically labor in the Lord is not in vain. God keeps records of these works that we do and it is worth some kind of a reward. It is us storing up treasures in heaven. And this is also confirmed in the second part of John chapter 12 verse 26 which says, Jesus said, and my father will honor the one who serves me, meaning that what we do counts for something and ultimately we want to glorify God. Ultimately we are God's workmanship working alongside of Christ and that's what he wants us to do in our everyday lives. And and what better place is there to be then to just know that we are glorifying God, we are living a life of significance, which is what we all want to do. But we are not living a life of significance according to the human standard or the standards that the world sets out for us. We are living according to a significance that is much greater than that. Because when we ultimately stand before Jesus and He tests our work, we will have a reward that is worth gold or silver or precious stone and we'll be able to glorify God. God in that, you know, just thanking Him for the privilege of serving Him in that capacity. So in that short encouragement, I just want to encourage us to choose to serve God, to choose to go where Jesus sends us because we are always wanting to be willing to listen to uh, where the Holy Spirit is guiding and directing us. So if you're struggling to just submit and surrender to God or hear the Holy Spirit, join Christian fellowships, join an e-group, get yourself godly friends who are walking in step with the Holy Spirit so that together we can find the purposes of God for our lives and do that which God entrusts us to do in the capacity He has called us to do for. So go out there, choose to go where Jesus goes and and reap the fruit thereof because God's will is that we bear much, much fruit. So God bless you as you walk in tune with the Holy Spirit.